I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to receive? You see, the thing is, many people want to ask the universe for many different things in their lives. And nothing is wrong with that. It is your right. It's your prerogative to ask God for whatever you want or the universe. But to be honest with you, most people are not ready to receive. Now, it is always better that you be prepared for an opportunity and you don't have it. More than you receive an opportunity and you are not ready. Now, I'm going to give you some examples and you definitely agree with me. There are many lottery winners who claim they use the law of attraction. But most of them, they were not ready for the blessing and they did a lot of stupid things. For example, one woman would have won over $112 million. She was a janitor. And because she was not even ready for it, Within two years, she filed bankruptcy. So my brother, my sister, what am I saying? I'm saying to you that you need to start to up the path. You need start to start to put things in place. If you believe that you're going to receive the things that you are asking for. Many people have a lot of baggages in their life. And if they get the things that they are seeking for, it will cause more confusion. It will cause more trouble in their life. Many people still have attachment, especially attachment with family members. And if you do not be honest with yourself and get rid of some of those attachments, when the blessing comes, it will do more hurt or more damage to you than good. How many of us would be willing to fire a family member? How many of us would be willing to say no to our friends and family members. Do you realize that if you have millions and millions of dollars and all at once, your family members start visiting you? <laughs> and certain friends, we never know, but friends start becoming friends. How are you going to deal with that? So, the point I'm trying to get across to you, my brother and my sister, you have to always be prepared and be ready to receive. Okay, so if you want great things to take place in your life, you want to live the best version of your life, yeah, there's some cleaning you have to do. Okay, and that, that cleaning might not go down good with everybody because you have to be honest with yourself. And when you do that, I am telling you, family members and close relatives can get vexed with you. So, my brother and my sisters, you have to decide for yourself that this path that you're taking and the things that you want to receive, that you're ready to be a man of your words, that you're ready to be a man with backbone, one with bars, <laughs> one who's straightforward, and one who means business. Okay? So, business and pleasure, most of the time, do, don't go along. So all of these things are things you have to learn to put in place. Because, for example, I don't think a man would do real good in business if he have a business and all the females who are working in his business is sleeping with them. That's a problem. I, I remember a businessman who I know very well <laughs> in my country. You know what I mean? I meet him in the gym. I used to help him. I remember one time he sponsored me and everybody was asking me, how oh, you get that man to sponsor you? I was very helpful to him, okay? And he did sponsor me. And one time, he, you know, he was in the newspaper because he was sleeping <laughs> with the employee and she, she licked up his, his, his card <laughs> because he, like, he used to give her, um, his card to shop, you know, for the business and, and she, she licked him up. You know, they, they end up in court. So my brother my sister, I'm saying all of these things, all of these things to really sensitize you, to, to ask yourself, am I really ready to receive the things that I am desiring in my life? Many people want to become rich. Many people want to have a lot in life, but many are not prepared to deal with it. So in short, let me say that being prosperous, 
has certain problems that will go along with it. And being in poverty, have certain problems that will go along with it. But most people will say, I rather have problems than be rich. <laughs> okay? But the point is, you have to prepare yourself for whatever outcome you will have to face whenever you make the transition. Okay, so be prepared. This message that I'm bringing, you know, I'm, it's very humorous to me, okay? Because this is actually reality. These things do happen many a times. And sometimes, you know, people want certain things to happen in their life. And, and sometimes they can see certain problems right within their circle. And sometimes they deny these problems. And they wait until they have all this kind of asset and so on to go even more deeper into these problems. So in short, I'm saying get rid of all the baggages and be willing and ready to receive because God always willing and ready to bless you. That's why he says that you must ask and it shall be given to you. And he say all that I've ever asked, they have always received. He never said no to you. So if you don't fix your situation and you get the answer, it can cause you a lot of problem if you're not careful. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is very important, then they're listening to me. What I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, it really resonates with you. And you haven't subscribed already. I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, if you like to do one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely reach out to me. And we can go deeper down the rabbit hole and explore more on these things. Because you see, iron sharpened iron, and we all need each other. So we can definitely work together if you feel strongly led to do so once the terms and the conditions suit you. Also, if you like to take my course, I have a $20 course uploaded on my page, and it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And with that, I have a bonus course on self concept. And so, this self concept course is all about teaching you how you have to have the right perspective of yourself. You have to have the right concept of it yourself. Because really and truly, the, those who are out to keep the masses enslaved, their main motive is for you to have the wrong perception of yourself. That's their main motive because that's how they're going to control you. Also, in the inner sun science and technology, it's all about the inner light, that inner intelligence that is within you that you must get in alignment with. Because as we can see, when the intelligence of the sun shines upon humanity and upon nature, nature brings forth bountifully and humanity has been empowered by the energy of the sun, the S-U-N. And that's why the Bible says the Lord thy God is a sun, a S-U-N and a shield and no good thing with he withhold from you. And also in Malachi 4 and 2 says that the sun, the S-U-N of righteousness shall one day arise in you with healing in his wing. So true healing and righteousness is a discovery, it's a realization. For true salvation is self-realization. So if you feel strongly learn to check out those schools, I would definitely encourage you to do so. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok at BlackMadGuru and also on Rumble.com. You can follow me there also at BlackMadGuru. But before I leave, I just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work, that we have a PayPal and the link is always down below. So that being said, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.